Hi, this is a short walk around on our 190E 2.5 16 valve evolution. This is a car that is in really nice shape. It is uh, virtually 100% original. In its number 297 out of 500 day uh, that Mercedes-Benz made for the public. It is interesting the numbers on these cars as you uh, some of you might know already the uh, Evolution 2 has the numbers stamped on the gear lever but very few people know that most of the times those numbers did not match with the actual production sequence on the, each car. The only way to know for sure what number EVO either one or two you have is by having somebody that has connections with Mercedes-Benz corporate pull out the bill sheet for each and every EVO that was made and put them in sequence and that is the only way to know what car number you have based on the bin number okay so in the case of the EVO ones the gear lever of course did not come with a number so you have to find somebody that has that information and it will tell you what EVO you have this is not a number 297 out of 500 that were made for the public okay some people say 502 no they only made 500 for the public uh, this car has the rare um, cloth seats houndstooth that's what they call it the uh, self-leveling suspension works perfectly on all four corners the car has 136,000 um, kilometers which is about 84,000 miles and it's in awesome shape I personally have been enjoying this car for the past three years it's been a blast um, attracts all kinds of attention wherever it goes especially lately that people are starting to realize what these cars are how good they were and how uh, fun they are to drive I have been fortunate enough to drive uh, several E30 M3s and uh, this EVO one is by far the better car I mean compared to the regular E30 M3 um, probably a more fair comparison would be to the EVO E30 M3 but comparing it to the regular E30 M3 that you find uh, it is still rare to find but uh, it's a lot easier to find than one of these um, this is a, uh, a lot better car um, it's faster has more power of course it has a little more displacement this is a 2.5 and the regular E30 is 2.3 um, this is faster has more power has less body roll um, when put on the lower uh, setting for the suspension um, and uh, it, it feels better built better quality of the materials more solid and the sound it makes it's awesome so I'm uh, gonna do a short uh, video drive shortly so you'll see it there I'm gonna put a link at the bottom of this video to the driving video uh, one of the most pure um, driving experiences that you can find today um, it's awesome I, I have nothing nothing bad to say about this car you know compared to today's uh, crazy horsepower figures 205 
uh, horsepower that these guys uh, came with the factory doesn't sound like a lot but it's the way it handles if you are fortunate enough to own one of these and you are able to take it to the track for a fun track day you will soon find out that it will keep up with many cars with twice the engine twice the horsepower let me open the uh, the 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 engine bay uh, by the way this car comes uh, with a factory a fire extinguisher it's a uh, it's in the bill sheet okay these cars came without air conditioning from the factory no Evo one came with AC from the factory some customers could choose to to uh, I'll try to do this with one hand, sorry. I'm gonna put the camera down for a sec. Some customers could choose to put air conditioning, to install air conditioning on their, on their cars a, uh, by the dealer. Um, even uh, the batteries, Mercedes Benz. Look at the conditions of these tanks. Um, it is in really nice shape. This car won several awards during my ownership for the past three years, more or less. It, it, it includes the uh, Silver Star Preservation Award awarded by the Mercedes-Benz Club of America. is uh, It's not an easy thing to get because the cars, each car is individually judged. Uh, to determine how original it is they test every single function on the car down to the windshield wipers the horn the windows they want to make sure the car has not been resprayed uh, so if you had a restore car for example the car will not qualify no matter how beautiful the restoration it is the car will not qualify for a silver star preservation award this car has it it also was displayed at the uh, Mercedes-Benz factory in Alabama uh, during a Mercedes-Benz uh, Club of America event. It was displayed and uh, participated in the concourse and uh, it got second place. Um, also, this car sat in 2018 on the, on the green at the Ritz Carton in Amelia Island during the, the Amelia Island Concord the Elegance. On Saturday, the day prior, is the Cars of Coffee where you have thousands of uh, special interest cars driven into the golf course and this car was there and it won first prize in its class which was the best sedan. Um, so yeah, this is the car. Um, I love it. Probably by far one of the best classics or the best classics we've ever owned beautiful and thank you and uh, hope you uh, like the video and uh, check out the driving video coming up bye